girls, this is Makeup by Mara 602. I just wanted to do this quick um, demonstration of how to edit videos on YouTube with Windows 7. Um, I've been having requests on how I do my videos in here and everything. So, yeah, this is my laptop. I also have Toshiba. So, let's get started. Um, first, I'm going to click on the start icon. Then I'm going to go to all programs and I'm going to find Windows Live Movie Maker and I click on that one and this big screen comes up and it says um, click here to browse for videos and photos so we click there and then pictures from the library come out so then I'm going to Click on pictures, it's on pictures. So I'm gonna go to random pictures I have here. And I'm just gonna choose any random pictures that I have here. This one, the naked palette. I'm gonna try to get another one. Um I'm gonna get this one. Another one. I'm going kind of fast because I don't want this video to take too long. And I'm going to go back to add videos and photos. This time I'm going to click on videos. And I'm going to choose this one. My videos. I'm going to choose this one right here. My makeup haul. And what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to click where the video starts. And then I'm going to add some music to this. I'm going to go to add music right there and I'm going to choose this one so it went all over the video that song and then for I'm going to click on the video again and I'm going to go to options because I want to fast speed, fast speed on it so I'm going to go to speed and I'm going to choose 2. When Always when you fast forward a video, um, it takes the volume that you have for the original video off. Automatically it shuts it off. So that's why I put a song. So when it's fast forwarding, um, you know, the it has some music on and everything. So then it's right here it's going to show when it's fast forwarding. So let's play and see how it looks. So see, there you have it, like it's on speeding really fast. Not really, really fast, but kind of. So in here, when I, where like I add my um, captions to it, I just click on the picture and it selects and it's all blue. And then um, I'm going to click on animation. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to do the text first. Let me see. Um, wait, I have to click on the picture. Then I'm going to go home. And I'm going to add a caption. And then when you do that, you click on the A. Enter text. You click on the picture on the screen. Then you erase this. And just put whatever you're going to put. I'm going to just put sample. Sample on this. And then um, if I don't want the letters to be white, then I can just go to the upper bar right here in text color. And just choose another color. i um, just going to choose pink. And then I'm going to put OK. And it turned pink right there. So then I'm going to bold it. I'm going to make it bigger. 28, 26. Made it 26. See, it's right there. And then this one, you can actually move it around wherever you would like to put it at. And let me see what else. Um, oh, yeah. When I start the video, I usually have some bubbly, like, picture, like, little bubbles around the little captions right here. The, how I do that is I go to text tools. 
and I go scroll down. I'm gonna go right here to that one. So when this one starts, it's gonna show a little close across. See, right there. That's how I do that. And then you can add captions to every single video picture that's here too, including the pictures and everything. And this, um, the text tool, it only comes up when you add a caption in the bottom. When you add a caption, wait right here, go to home, you add a caption right there. That's the only way that this will come out and everything. And then, oh yeah, one more thing I guys wanted to show you guys. Um, okay, when I change to another picture or another video to go after a picture or whatever, um, right here it gives you now a lot of options. You could just go to animation right there. And then it gives you a lot of slight shows that you can put there. I'm going to choose the stars. So look. There's a demonstration. After that, look what happens. See, the little stars came out. The little stars came out because I put an uh, animation. Like, um, transitions. Right there. And one more thing, what you can actually do too, um, if you don't like um, the song to be all along the whole video and pictures, you can just space it out tap one time at the song then drag this along and then where you want the song to split so you can add another song you just right click on it you split it and then it splits right there and then you click on the song again you right click on it and then you remove the song and then you can go and ahead and add another song to it and you put add music at the current point you go there, and then you just add another song, any other song that you would want to be there. So it's there. And you can do that along all the stuff you have in the bottom. That's mostly the basics and everything about how I do my videos. Um, these are really simple to, um, you know, to find out and figure it out and everything. I would take the whole day if I actually did all this. Oh, and when you guys um, are done with the editing and the whole video and everything, the pictures and the video, then what I like about this too is that um, it gives you an option to upload it to YouTube, Sky, Sky Drive, and Facebook. Yeah, and other ones. Here they have Windows Live Group, and Flickr, Facebook, Sky Drive, and YouTube. So I think this is pretty nice. And it uploads kind of fast too. That's what I like about this program. I don't want to really zoom it in because it's going to look all blurry and everything. But yeah, that's mostly it. So thank you for watching. Bye.